Hello there, it's Jennifer McCreef. Uh, January 30th, 2012. Uh, sitting here in my living room at home in St. John's, Newfoundland, Canada. Recording yet another video today. Um, gonna open up a can of worms with this one, folks. Uh, I want to talk about the dichotomy between sexual orientation and gender identity. Um, I think we understand that they're two very different things. <coughs> sexual orientation is basically defines who you're attracted to sexually or romantically. Gender identity has nothing to do with attraction. It, it's all about who you are, um, how you, you perceive yourself to be. Um, that having been said, somebody out there in the world decided to create the acronym LGBT, Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, Transgender Community and throw us all together as if we're all the same. Well, we're not. <clears throat> I guess there's a lot of similarities that we're, we're fighting um, societal myths and stereotypes. We're fighting oppression, we're fighting discrimination. Um, the, gays, the gay lesbian movement has come a long way um, in Canada and in the world the past 20 years. Trans issues have always kind of been invisible, hidden, swept under the rug, misunderstood, misinterpreted, um, deemed uninteresting, um, indifference. Anyway, trans issues are kind of hot these days and uh, probably because more trans people are coming out um, and recognizing that, hey, maybe we are, we're piggybacking on if, if, if the gay community is getting um, acceptance and policy changes and human rights changes, what about us? <clears throat> this leads into, I guess we'll call it a concern, or maybe more of a question. A lot of organizations out there that do advocacy work for the gay lesbian community call themselves LGBT advocates. Um, however, if you look deep, that's more fine print than, than anything else. Uh, a lot of these organizations are focused the majority of their work on gay lesbian issues. Um, my question for people out there who identify somewhere under the trans community, that's a whole other issue, is the trans umbrella, transsexual, transgender, transvestite, drag queen, cross-dresser, intersex, two-spirited. We're all very different. Um, I direct this to all of you though. <coughs> How do you feel about gay lesbian organizations speaking for us, leading us, um, negotiating policies about us on our behalf? I don't like it. I have a serious concern about this. Um, nothing against gay lesbian organizations. I'm sure they do a great job advocating for gay lesbian rights, but uh, that doesn't qualify you, in my opinion, to take on trans issues at all. Some of you are doing good trans work, some of you are not. A lot of you are ignoring trans issues. Um, why did it take little old me to expose the Canadian government's latest uh, trans discrimination, the airport security policy? Um, I didn't see you folks jumping up on this one. Uh, it was literally ignored. Meanwhile, um, <coughs> recently there was a threat that uh, same-sex marriages performed in Canada would be negated for uh, international citizens. Well, that really got everyone's attention. Marriage, I'm all for that. Any, anyone should be able to marry whoever the heck they want. Um, at the same time, I think the issues trans people face are more impactful. Um, marriage is a, it's a certificate, it's a license. We're not talking about life or death here. We're, that's what trans issues, we're talking about health care. Um, why are those issues not as important to you? Well, they are to me. One particular um, news item here in Newfoundland has been a uh, $90,000 partnership between the government of Newfoundland and Labrador and EGAL Canada to uh, come up with some sort of strategy to promote gay-straight alliance groups being created in high schools. Again, I think that's a great idea for the gay lesbian community, but uh, all those news releases, um, not one mention of the word transgender or gender identity. Um, this, agree this partnership just sort of launched out of nowhere. Where was the stakeholder consultation process? Um, what about a trans 
cis alliance or even a trans non trans alliance. Call it whatever you want. EGL Canada, I think you you do a lot of great work um, for the gay lesbian community. Um, I've been quite critical of your uh, insistence that you refer to yourself as Canada's LGBT human rights organization as if you're the only one. Well, you're not. Um, I challenge you. You say you want to take on trans issues. Build a meaningful, credible trans program that is run by and for trans people. Don't uh, do what most LGBT organizations do and put trans people on as tokenism. Um, I don't want to single this issue out, but it's an example. Um, <clears throat> now government's going to turn around and say, "What's your problem, Jennifer? We gave you we gave you gay straight alliances without even realizing. Look, it's a totally different issue." Um, I think now is the time for trans people across Canada to come together and create some sort of national body um, so we can stand up and speak for ourselves. Um, nobody truly understands trans issues more than trans people. Um, if others want to be allies, that's great. Support. Help. Don't lead. Um, I just want to put this out there. What do you folks think? Uh, I'm sick and tired of being silenced, thrown under the bus, being labeled a bad person or a troublemaker for raising these issues. I think it's hilarious that I have more enemies in the gay community than the straight community. Um, but you look at the trans community across Canada, not that I want to toot my horn, but I'm well loved, respected. I've had trans people all across Canada tell me that I'm a role model and I'm a leader and I'm a hero for the what I consider a little bit of advocacy work. Um, standing up to challengers. Um, yeah, I'll stop rambling. I just want some feedback. What do you think, folks?